Hello and welcome to the Practical Windows Forensics or PWF course. My name is Markus Schober and I'm going to be your instructor for this course. I've been working as a cybersecurity professional for quite some time and I'm currently providing training and coaching services at Blue Cape Security, which is a company that I've started. And the decision for starting this company and also for creating this course came after working for many years as a consultant in the incident response and digital forensics field, defending against and investigating cyber attacks on a day-to-day -day basis provided me with a lot of experience that I just can't wait to be sharing with you. Initially, I started my career with an apprenticeship and I've also worked as a software developer building Python and Java applications for several years. Also, as you may have noticed, my background is that I've spent half of my career in Austria, which is where I'm originally from, and the other half in the United States. Now, you probably can't wait to see what you will be learning in this course. So the objectives was to teach you everything that I wish I had known when I started working as a DFIR or a digital forensics and incident response consultant, uh, performing digital forensics analysis as part of my day-to-day -day job. We will conduct a full analysis from start to finish on a compromised Windows system, which is something that we will be setting up by ourselves. We then start the investigation and cover the fundamentals for performing forensic analysis on Windows systems by following the a full forensic process. We'll also use industry recognized tools, but they're all freely available for you. And the information that you will be learning here aligns with the industry recognized standards and frameworks that you will be learning throughout this course, as well as some famous literature that you can find regarding digital forensics. So after completing this course, you should be able to investigate Windows systems following a standard forensic process. It is not going to be an extremely advanced course, but it covers a very broad and comprehensive foundation around digital forensics on Windows systems. So who is this course for? This can be a pretty broad audience because when working in security, you will need to know fundamentals around Windows systems in most enterprise environments. You'll constantly see Windows logs and system behavior across the environment. Therefore, this can be something for beginners, for example, that are wanting to break into cybersecurity and learn more around the blue team side of things. This can also be for people that are already in the industry, for example, SOC analysts, junior, but also senior IT security staff, because digital forensics can be a very advanced field if you take it to the next level. And then especially red teamers, it is very important to understand what the other side looks like, what they are seeing and doing in order to adjust your own approaches. So I, for example, enjoyed a lot of red teaming courses and trainings just because it really helps to know how your opponent thinks and what you can learn from that. Also, this course can be interesting for even non-technical people, for example, lawyers or compliance staff. For example, here you will find everything that evolves around a forensic or digital forensic process. And in real world investigations, it's oftentimes the case that lawyers or the legal team are responsible for owning an investigation. And it helps to understand what kind of evidence is available to us and what we may be able to see versus what we aren't able to prove, for example. Now, as for the requirements, you should have basic IT skills, no advanced Windows knowledge needed. However, it will certainly be beneficial. You should also be able to find your way around virtualization, using VirtualBox and managing VMs. However, we will not be setting up a complex network environment or anything like that. We'll just be using two virtual machines that are independent from each other. And lastly, it will be helpful to have some familiarity with command lines because we will be using a very few basic command line tools on our host system and on our forensic workstation. So with that out of our way, we'll next talk about some of the really important resources that you need to know in order to be successful in this course.